Made in Abyss is one of my favorite animes. What makes this series so special? It's not afraid to tell the story that it wants to tell. The plot of Made in Abyss is the main character, Rico. She desires to go deep in the Abyss itself to meet her mother, Liza, along with her new friend, Rek, who is also part of the Abyss's mystery. He's what you call a relic. Half robot, half boy. The Abyss itself is cursed with sickness and diseases. The further you go down, the more you'll end up dead. And I love Made in Abyss for completely different reasons here. I'm more of a character-driven story person, but Made in Abyss is the only anime that I put an exception on. This series is mostly world-building driven, but, but that's not the reason why I love this series. When I said earlier, the show is not afraid to tell the story that it wants to tell. Made in Abyss looks all cute and innocent when you first watch it, but the more episodes you watch, you notice that it gets pretty graphic, like breaking Rico's arm or literally showing the main villain of the series experimenting on kids and you actually do see it. I love dark storytelling and fucked up shit in general. Character driven or world building driven does not matter. Made in the Abyss has been able to accomplish something I've never seen before. Is the main reason why I love it for these reasons and not for the reasons I should watch it like everyone else. Now onto the characters I like and love. Rek is the second main character of the series. He's enjoyable to watch on screen. He's a curious little guy. He has a mystery behind his whole character of remembering his past with Rico's mother. We don't know too much about him yet, but he's a good likable character. Now then, my two favorite characters in this whole series that I really, really love are Ozen and Namachi. Ozen has a very calm, relaxing voice. She likes to test people to get information or learn something new about them. Like when she first met Rek and Rico, she went as far by fighting them in a battle and literally hitting him, Rek, on the ground and torturing him. Ozen is a powerful female character, both in spirit and in strength. She's very strict and she knows exactly what she wants when it comes to people. Ozen is just amazing, not too much we don't know about her, but there's enough material here for me to say I love her character. She's precise, she's strict, and she knows exactly what she wants out of people, and she knows how to get her information out of them. Now for Namachi, the furry creature. I love Namachi. She's adorable, she's friendly, she's intelligent. Her backstory with Minnie was absolutely heartbreaking and terrifying. Bondro is probably one of the most disturbing anime villains ever created. He steals kids and then experiments on them for the sake of trying to save other lives from the curse of the abyss. In order to understand the side effects or the curse itself, you have to start somewhere by experimenting. Midi and Namachi were both sacrificed as experiments along with other kids that Bonjour stole. Namachi lived, but Midi was turned into something that will never die, but she still feels pain. After Namachi escaped with Midi from Bonjour's location, she tried her damnness to find a way to kill Midi without it being painful so she can finally be free. If you had already seen the series before, Namachi asks Rek to kill Midi for her, since if one day Namachi dies, Midi will be alone and nobody will be able to take care of her. No one's going to be able to look after Midi when Namachi dies. She would be alone and suffering, and no one will be able to protect her anymore. So killing Midi of letting her be free was pretty understandable from a writing point of view. Namachi, without a doubt, is the best written character in the whole series to her backstory, her loyalship, and friendship, to Mitty, the love and care they both had, and the experiments they went through. It's really heartbreaking and absolutely just terrifying of what Mitty as a character went through, and you really do care for her struggle. Now back to Rico. Rico isn't my favorite. She's not even interesting, even if she is the main character. But without her, there is no plot, so yeah. I've always been more interested in side characters than main characters, so anyways. The anime studio really took care of the perfect anime adaptation of Made in the Best. Everything looks realistic and beautiful. The detail is out of this world. This is literally a place I would love to see in real life, except the whole dying part in the abyss though. The landscape and how everything looks. The Abyss is just an amazing place to see when you watch the series. I love Made in the Abyss because it's not afraid to be dark or gory. You get the full package in the series and I love dark storytelling altogether. So I give Made in the Abyss an exception going against my usual taste in other anime series. Made in the Abyss is something I don't think I'm ever going to see again in anime. It's a very special series that I believe everyone should experience once. It doesn't hold back, the writing is dark, the gory, the graphics, the uncensorship. Made in the Abyss gives you what you want when you sign up to a dark story anime. I am DLX, subscribe if you want, and let me know your feelings about Made in the Abyss. I believe Made in the Abyss is a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. It's pretty well up there in my opinion. It's a masterpiece of writing. Have a good night. Bye.